Yo, what's up guys, it's Reg here, and as you probably already know, the new season has started, and along with that, we got the new Rocket Pass and the new car called the Harbinger, and anyways, today we are going to be seeing how that car does. We're going to be hopping into some ranked games, currently I'm only champ 3, div 4, but that's because the season just started, so haven't really had the opportunity to get GC back just yet. We finished in 1700, so, you know, obviously it's, I'm looking to go a bit higher than that this season. But yeah, we're just going to start the queue, and uh, I'll see you when we get in the matches. Alright, here we go for game one. Kind of funny, our titles are pretty much matched up perfectly. Um, but anyways, I don't have a very long time period to make this video, so I'm going to do something I don't normally do, and that is not edit and like add a bunch of sound effects and cuts so basically my goal is to pretty much talk through the entire thing and not have a bunch of awkward pauses because that's usually why I have so many jump cuts so yeah I'm gonna try to do my best to actually commentate but uh, that might be rough because I'm normally pretty bad at that alright that bump is very detrimental to the ceiling shot okay but also another interesting thing I find funny the new Merc hitbox just came out you know there's a lot of hype around that, um, and so they're making this new car, and it looks exactly like the Merc, right? But it's not actually the Merc hitbox, they just made it an Octane hitbox. I guess it's because it matched the visual better, but like, there's so much hype around the new Merc, like, why would you do that? Okay, that's bad. Okay, he saved it. So we're gonna just go get this boost. I just find it ironic. As a lot of people were probably expecting a Merc. That was very interesting. It's probably B. I don't know if I have time to go for boost, so I'll just go back to net. Okay, that was a lot better of a pass than I expected. Should beat him. I almost missed, but luckily we still had our flip. Oh, my teammate's not going. That's a bit of a problem. Although they completely missed. Oh, I'm dead, but that's fine. Our teammates should still have possession. Oh, uh, it looks like he might have thrown it away. I think I have time here, so I'm gonna go for an air dribble. Popped it a bit higher than I wanted to, but we should have the reset. Alright, well, that's a little unfortunate. I missed. We're still gonna beat this guy, so we can just go for it. And as long as we get this touch, we should be good, but I didn't. Uh, that's unfortunate. That's my bad, though. I should have scored or got that second touch there. But yeah, it's whatever. But yeah, basically I tried to record this yesterday, but I kept getting interrupted by like loud neighbors or my parents or my dog, and so I just gave up. And I don't want to take too long making this video today because it's already been a couple days since the update. And the longer you wait, the more irrelevant it becomes. And okay, you know, I was going to have the lucky rebound, but uh, I got bumped. But luckily we were still able to just turn around and get the rebound. I figured the dude had no boost, because if he had boost, he would have already been up, so that's why I ball chase like that, and it ended up working out quite nicely. Not the best kickoff, but it works. Maybe he can hit this over to me. Okay, that was a terrible shot. It was a good pass, though. I want to get out of his way. Okay, <laughs> he's just going to get bumped everywhere. Yeah, also, I might sound kind of dead. That's just because I didn't sleep well last night. I don't like making videos unless I'm in a good, like, mood, or, like, energetic mood, but I don't really have an option, because, like I said, the longer I wait, this video will just be more irrelevant, because the car has already been out for, like, two days. So, I gotta do it now. Okay, that was a failed pinch, but it's fine. This is pretty decent clear. He's probably gonna take it up the wall. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, I don't think that was the smartest thing he could have done because he gave my teammate possession. And now we're going to score. Yeah. So taking up the wall there, if you're in his situation, is probably the best thing you can do. Then you can cross it. Because a lot of times your opponent won't expect you to take it across your own net. But obviously that's like a higher level thing. If you don't have the mechanics to do that, probably not a good idea. Okay. Well, I don't have the boost, so my teammate's in an awkward spot. But he might be able to hit it over here. We need to hit that because that dude's right there, but unfortunately I couldn't get it all the way over to my teammate. Although he whiffed, so... Dang, that's not a good pass. Pretty obvious what I was going for there, but... 
probably don't have time here, so we gotta make sure to hit it. Teammate's gonna doink. That's not a very good doink, to be honest. So, that happened. We should be fine, though. He doesn't have control, so I can just challenge. If the ball's just sitting in front of their car, the only thing they can really do is just, like, hit it sideways. So as long as you cover the angle, you're usually fine there to just ball chase. Should be okay. Oh, we got bombed. That's fine, though. Uh, that's not great. He's closer to the ball than our teammate, but our teammate's speedy. So that's all good. Okay, I'm not going to go for that. It's too risky. Teammate should be moving up. And he is. That's good. Okay, we should have this. Okay, I was going to go for double tap, but I mean, I doubt I was going to read that anyways. So that's fine. Probably beat here. I want to get a demo so that we have space, but that works as well. I'll just go again. My teammate should be back. Alright, we almost got doinked on, but it's fine. Okay, that was a really good pinch by them. My teammate should have time to collect the ball, although he didn't, but it's fine. Probably didn't have boost or enough. They're probably going to clear this. Alright, that's fine. Forced to move. My teammate's there, so it's all good. I should have saw it coming. I was just staring at the boost, and then a turn ball came on and stared at the ball. I tend to tunnel vision a lot. Might have missed, but I mean, okay. <laughs> Gonna say as long as we have the rebound, it's fine. Yeah, I, I, I don't know about that bounce. I can't type, but it's fine. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that should have went in either, to be honest. But we take those. He's going to clear that. Alright. I could just score it, but, like, I need some sauce. I ran out of boost, though. The yesterday, I scored, like, an insane air dribble double with this car, but unfortunately, we're probably not going to get that in recording today. I always want something like that for the title, but oh well. Um, at least game one was a success, so I don't have to cut it out. Well, okay, last game I lost... And my awe-inspiring commentary didn't really make up for it. So, we're just gonna move on. Because I feel like unless something nutty happens, no one wants to listen to me talk like this for 10 minutes straight. So, we're gonna try to get some better gameplay in this one. And see how that goes. Also, this is the perfect opportunity to test out what you guys like better. If you like the normal, like, traditional commentary style that Squishy and John do. Or if you like the cuts and uh, sound effects and all that that I normally do. Just make sure to leave a comment which you prefer or like a comment that supports your opinion. And I'll kind of just go with whatever the consensus is. Okay, well, that was a good pop, but, you know, I'm bad. I mean, it was just a fake so that I could kill him and we could take possession. But my teammate missed, so that doesn't really work. <laughs> that was a crazy pinch. We'll probably beat here, although he's backwards, so... Maybe, what? wait, there's no way. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. But yeah, I was going to say he's awkward, so we can kind of move in. And then he just outplayed his teammate pretty hard there. That's what we like to see. That is what we like to see. So, I don't usually like to cheat on the double diagonals. You, like, I probably should be cheating on every other kickoff, but sometimes I just forget. I'm not really sure what happened there. Just a miscommunication with my brain. I stopped boosting. Easily could have gotten to that. But it's whatever. Alright, this is my moment. Alright, my moment has been destroyed by his fake. Should be fine. I doubt that's going to go up. We'll just bang it. Bottom corner. Pretty decent placement. Teammate said nice one, so we'll say thank you. Because we're so wholesome. No, I usually actually like to say nice one and thanks unless I'm recording for some reason. I guess it's because I'm too busy talking. And, uh, yeah, I guess the same thing happens when I stream. Or when I'm playing with friends. Too busy talking. If we're duo queuing threes, I just completely ignore chat. It's like a weird habit I got going. Okay. I wanted to clean beat him so I could take it up the wall, but didn't work out. He might have a clear, so I'm just going to go back. He 
He's still on the backboard. I guess he looked really awkward, so I just move in. But yeah, I don't see this coming to me, so I'll go back. Okay, he's going all the way back, it looks like, but that's still too awkward for me to challenge. Oh yeah, we just played it patient. He's gonna get a mistouch. Okay! Uh, you know, I'm not really complaining when I don't have to do anything. I really don't mind. But I do want to do something halfway cool, so just ball chase, try to speed up the pace a bit. Actually, I don't know, I like it when the game's slower, because then I have more space, so that was pretty counterintuitive. Alright, maybe I can corner double. Alright, he's going to shut that down. I've been trying to learn tornado spins, if you guys know a bit more about mechanics, you're probably familiar. Okay, that faked me pretty hard. That is off, and that was terrible. Honestly, it was a weird angle, but like that still wasn't that hard of a read. I think I was just kind of kind of pre-jumped without really paying attention. I'm just out of habit. All right, let's see what he does. We should have a B here. But yeah, tornado spins are really hard to master. So my car control is kind of hit or miss sometimes these days. Okay. That was close, but not close enough. I don't know if that was supposed to be a pass, <laughs> or if he has one more. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that. My teammate, take it please. Nice. Yeah, I don't really know what to do here. Okay, we'll wait for his touch. Okay, yeah. It wasn't the best pass, but it was also like really awkward positioning from me. Hopefully he hits that to me. Okay, I think I actually had the musty, but we got shut down. Alright, it's a pretty good save from our teammate. He can get boost now. Alright, we're faking, we're faking, it's fine. It was just it was so I could take possession. No, nah, actually he's up. Don't even get to witness the fruits of my labor. Um, okay, what's he gonna do? He's probably got that. I don't want to double commit or bump him. That's what I see in lower ranks a lot of the times. Or like I did it a lot of times when I was in like Diamond. If your teammate has an open net, but you're not sure whose ball it is, you just double commit and then mess each other up. It's pretty hilarious, but happens a lot. I usually just let the person go if it looks like they have enough boost, or even if they have none, if it's like very open, I just let them keep going. Because like, after you outplay the defender, it's like you kind of want to be the one to score, you know? So I just use that logic and assume they're going to go. It's actually a decent back pass. This is our opportunity. And okay, well, we didn't nail it. Unfortunate. All my opportunities have been very close. That was the worst pop, like, ever. But that should be, well, it's obviously game because we're up 2-0 no matter what happens. But yeah, that's pretty good. We'll do another one. All right, so, so far in this episode, I haven't been able to do anything too crazy. So I wanted to show you guys a goal I scored on this car uh, yesterday. It was pretty nice, as you'll see. But yeah, uh, honestly, to me, the hardest thing to do with this car is air dribble. Um, so that's why I made sure to save this replay. I guess I didn't skip forward ahead enough. But yeah, we did end up scoring a really nice air dribble here. So you certainly can air dribble. I just find it pretty difficult. But yeah, that was pretty nice. I'll show you guys it again without the stupid thing in the way. Uh, the overlay there at the bottom. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this goal. Definitely going to clip that with Gift Your Game next time I remember to. And yeah, so I mean, it definitely can be a really good car. I think I just struggle with it a little bit for some reason. Alright, hopefully we actually do something. I changed my angle from negative 5 to negative 3. Because that's obviously going to make a huge difference. But yeah, I feel like I was playing better at these settings yesterday. So we shall see if that remains the same. 
All right, what's going on here? Also, I'm only including wins because I doubt you guys want to see losses, but I don't know. You could let me know in the comments. I don't really mind because it's not like it takes that much longer to play an extra game. A little bit of a risky bump attempt there, but it's fine. I don't know if I should take that because my teammate looked like he was going to go, so that was fine. I'm going to not reach that, so kind of had to back off. I positioned really awkwardly there, but luckily we weren't punished. We should get a dunk. Okay, I was going to say get the dunk, but kind of messed up again. Yeah, I wanted the air dribble, but I'm really not getting good first touches here today. Yeah, I didn't turn fast enough. And I missed the boost pad. That was risky, but I mean, we're not going to make it all the way back, so going there is really the only option. And just hoping you get a decent 50. I should have probably been in that there. But it's whatever. I think their goal is open, so I'm just going to bang it. Yeah, okay. This car does feel, you know, somewhat powerful. I guess the Octane hitbox isn't really a, uh, not powerful. <laughs> And now you see why I rely on jump cuts so much. Because that's how half the things I try to say go. Okay, I will take that. It was a little lucky, but... It works out. It'll probably just come with time. The ability to actually talk on recording. I should have a clean beat. Or beat here though, so I'll just play it up the wall. Okay, you know, I positioned well, but I guess I jumped too early. It's probably just a little bit of panic. I have, like, a very panicky play style. It's been the number one thing I'm trying to, like, eliminate. Just stay calm on defense, especially. Okay, I lost my flip, and we have packet loss, or latency variation. Um, that's weird. The gameplay didn't really change. I backflipped again. <laughs> I, I think it was mostly happening in the games that I cut out, but I kept backflipping when I tried to air dribble. I think it's because I normally use one dodge dead zone, but I lowered it down to like 0.75 because that's actually like what a normal human would use. This is bad. Um, could work out though. I definitely should have just left that for my teammate. Yeah, that was also a really weird 50 attempts, and I can't believe I didn't save that. I'm, yeah, really not doing too hot this game. Or the last couple, actually. But it's whatever, as long as I do something good. I did not think he would go. It's all good. It's probably not my ball to go for, anyways. Alright, we're just gonna rotate behind. Should be a somewhat free ball. Couldn't really pass it, so I just tried to hit it as hard as possible. He's a reset, but there's no threat because he's nowhere near the goal. I think it's best to just stay back there so you can collect whatever happens. That was a good catch. Didn't really expect it. I'm just going to pinch. That might just go in. I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't know if he influenced my pinch, and I didn't look at the replay because my cat made a weird noise, so <laughs> I don't even know. Alright, here's my chance. I just want to hit the backboard. <laughs> That's all I ask. I should probably stop tornado spinning if I want to do something cool, because I haven't fully mastered it yet, you know. It's whatever. That was a bit of an awkward angle to jump from, but made it work. I shouldn't go for that because he's still closer. Whenever a ball goes up like that, just the freestyler in me just wants to go up. It's like so hard to resist, but you have to. I don't know what he's doing. So that was like a really weird situation. I should be able to clear this on the backboard. Yeah, it was a little 
sketchy. Fake it and then take it up the wall. Okay. I did most of that right, but the flip was even weaker than I wanted. I wanted a weak flip so you can take control, but it was too weak. It's a pretty solid flip. My goal. I want the points. Okay. So, in conclusion, what I think about the car, uh, even though it's the Octane hitbox, for some reason it feels a little bit harder to dribble, and the corner of the car just doesn't feel as defined as the Octane or the Fennec, so it's a bit harder to shoot consistently, I'd say, um, and that just makes everything a little bit harder. So I honestly wouldn't really recommend it over the Octane or the Fennec, but, I mean, you do you, you know? It's certainly a viable car, you know? But yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.